Hello beautiful face yogis, it's Tina Schall again. I'm so happy to be here on this Friday. Oh my gosh, it's already Friday. I don't know where this week has, I don't know, gone that fast. Um, yeah, but it's Friday and I'm so happy to be here today for another live. Um, sharing something with you as a certified face yoga method teacher. So if you can see and hear me clearly, please give me a thumb up or write a comment just that I know that you can see me and hear me. Today I want to make this life really interactive. I want to do poses with you and exercises. I want to talk with you. I really want to share something with you. And But first of all, I want to know, have you already done your face yoga today? So any type of have you done, I don't know, something for your eye area, have you done, hi Debbie, something for your forehead area, have you done a full face routine, are you completely new to face yoga? So please share and let me know. Oh, I can see thumbs up. Heat, perfect, Purmima, Vernus, thank you so much. Yes, Angelica, ah, oh, that's so great. You all have done your face yoga today. Okay, so for everybody who hasn't done it and for everybody who has done it and for everybody who is planning to start face yoga and for everybody who is doing face yoga for a while now, this is an interesting and very important life. So, hi Junita, nice to see you. Mm, maybe the topic doesn't sound that sexy to you, but Please don't run away when you hear it. Stay here because it's going to be important. And for me, good morning, Alma. For me, it is something I don't have to remind myself of the importance, uh, but I know that sometimes we tend to skip it. And I'm talking about the warm up poses. Don't run away, stay here. <laughs> I really want to talk about it and I really want you to listen and I really want to make and do some some um, of these poses together with you because I want you to feel it. I don't, uh, I want you to feel it. I don't, I want you, oh, what's going on? I want you to feel it and I want you to understand the importance of the warm up poses. And to be honest, the warm up poses itself are a complete face yoga routine. So if you don't have time in the morning and you just do one or two warm up poses, you have already done something for your mind and your spirit, for your entire face, neck and decolletage, for your neck, shoulders and upper back. So never underestimate Fumiko's warm up poses and all of you who have been here for a while know the importance and maybe know Fumiko always saying, don't skip, skip the warm up poses, don't skip the warm up poses. In each and every single program, you will find these. I would never do an anti routine without the warm up poses. When I wave in a pose here and there in my daily routine, like when I'm driving or when I'm cutting vegetables or whatever, and I'm doing a pose, then I will, of course, not do a warm up pose just before I'm doing this pose. But <clears throat> when I'm waving in these exercises, I am not doing a full routine, meaning when I'm, for example, cutting um, vegetables like this and my, my, um, my chin is down and my neck is like this, my head is in a not good position and I'm just putting away my knife doing a gentle stretch for my, for my neck area in between um, cutting two tomatoes or so, um, then I don't have to do a warm up pose simply because I'm directly working on the area I was toning or not toning in a good way, but tensing, right? So then I just can do a pose um, or when I'm, I don't know, what else can I say? When I'm outside or in the car and I, I, um, I recognize that I'm doing this because of the sunlight. I can easily do just do the forehead freeze or do a no more 11 lines or something just to relax this entire 
area or do some tapping or so. That's fine. But before we are doing a full routine, let's say more than two or three exercises, <clears throat> sorry, then please don't skip the warm up poses and I will let you know why now. So all of you have answered. Hi, Face Yoga teacher Nansan. Hi. I can see that a lot of you already have done um, their routines today. And now I want to know, have you done a warm up pose? Which warm up poses do you know? So just let me know in the comments, just type in the wow, the detox, the I don't know what, whatever poses you already know, please type it in here so that I know which ones I can share in a minute and what um, do you you already have done. The wow, yes. Soraya is watching. Hi, Anna. Oh, it's so good to see you here. I'm so happy. I love these lives. Okay, so just let me explain a little bit. Oh no, just let's dive directly into it. Okay, I want you to feel it before I explain it. That's maybe the better, um, the better way for you to feel it. We will do definitely at least two because I want to do different ones. I want to do one for the, a lot of you have done the wow. I will definitely do the wow and show you how you can adjust the pose because we are getting a lot of questions about the wow one. None. Kara Baxter, <laughs> I see you, but just stay here and do them together with me. We will just do it. Okay, um, let's maybe start. I would love to start with the chest opener. The chest opener for me as being a physical therapist is one of the exercises I'm doing every single day, morning and evening and sometimes in between when I'm working in front of my computer, because it's not only good for the face, even if we are not doing that much with the face, sometimes I combine it with, with another exercise, but it's also good for the entire neck area, which is always my um, concern area. For opening up the chest, we are always in this position. We should always be in this position or stretch open the chest, open the chest area. It absolutely stretches beautifully our neck, our entire neck, this part and also the back part. So the chest opener is amazing. And it is one of the exercises that really show you how everything is connected and how holistic this concept is. So, okay, I, let's just dive right into it. I will show it to you first, not in a, in a um, professional way. I will just show it very quickly and then we will do it together step by step. So you place your hands on top of your shoulders. You bring your elbows together in front of you. You can look down a little bit. Then you lift up your gaze first, then your elbows, your chin goes up a little bit. You breathe in. You keep your elbows together as long as you can and then you open bring the shoulder blades together at the back of your um of your upper back bring the shoulders down and the elbows down and breathe out and you can also bring the chin to your chest for a gentle neck stretch that's it that doesn't sound like a lot but it is so much more than just doing this. When you do it slowly, concentrated, and with, I don't know, love <laughs> at least and energy, it is such an amazing post. And that's what we are doing now. So I want you to place your fingertips on your shoulders. I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose, and out through your nose. Be present in this moment. Concentrate on your shoulder girdle, your neck, your face. You are here now. Take another deep breath in and out. 
open your eyes or keep them closed, both is fine. Look down, bring the chin a little bit to your chest, bring your elbows together, they don't have to touch, just as close together as you can. Take a deep breath in, look up to the ceiling, bring the elbows up, stretch your arms and when you cannot go further, when you cannot breathe in anymore, breathe in more, 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 then open, bring the shoulder blades together, shoulders down, breathe out, shoulder blades together at the back of your upper, upper back elbows down you can close your eyes and bring the chin down one more time elbows together look up to the ceiling chin up elbows up really stretch here take a deep breath in open up the elbows open your chest as wide as you can bring the elbows back Bring the shoulder blades back. Enjoy this feeling. It's so good. Elbows down, shoulders down. And one more time. Elbows together. Look up, chin up, elbows up. Enjoy the stretch. Breathe in. And open as wide as possible. Bring everything back down. Stay here if there is a little sticky point in the shoulders. Really open your chest. Bring the elbows back, the shoulder blades back. And elbows down. Relax the hands. Take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. And just feel. Feel the relaxation in your shoulders. Maybe your head is a little bit lighter. Your shoulders are lighter, your arms are feeling kind of warm, a little bit of tingling sensation. Breathe in, breathe out, and open your eyes. Okay, so please let me know in the comments if you can feel or what you have felt if this affected your upper back or your neck, whatever you were feeling, I really want to know that. The chest opener is, I, I have said that enough times now, such a wonderful exercise. And I will talk about that now. And at the end, we will do the, the wow together with um, the adjustments for this pose. So if you're doing exercises for your body, if you are going for a run or do a Pilates or a yoga class, a spinning class, whatever, uh, it is always important to do a warm up, right? You will not do a split without warming up your muscles. You kind of should do the same with your face, but in a more gentle way, a great neck stretch. Yes, I feel super relaxed. Yes, I love to hear that. Ah, oh, you are so good. I feel it on my neck. Yes, Angelica, that is true. Front and back. So it's always, it's everything is connected. Feel my shoulders somehow tense while doing the pose. Yes, Anna, that is okay because you are really squeezing them together also at the back. But then when you, when you um, get rid, when you, ah, how do you say that? When you relax the shoulders, that's the moment where the blood floods in, where the relaxation can take place. Felt it in the neck, arms and top of the back. My upper body feels loose now. Yes, 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 yes. You are feeling it. Oh, I'm so happy. Norma, Kathleen, thank you. Ines, thank you so much for letting me know. Great. Okay, so it's a little bit different for your face. Um, for the face, as I mentioned before, we need to integrate the neck, the decolletage, the chest, the upper back and the shoulders because everything is connected. So when we do the warm-up poses, we have different ones. We have ones just for the face, like the detox, the wow. No, the detox goes a little bit deeper because we, are, we also integrate the, the, the tongue. But for example, the wow or the, um, the big O or exercises like this, that's more for the face. And we have the kind of more face or head and upper body warm-up poses. So if you're talking just about doing a warm-up pose. It's not just a warm-up for your body, your face, your muscles, your skin, <coughs> your organs. 
because you are breathing deeper. It is, I'm sorry, <clears throat> it is a warm up also or a getting ready for your mind and for your spirit. It's all about coming down. It's all about being present in this moment. It's all about, hey, I'm taking the time for myself now doing face yoga. I'm doing something just for myself to look good, to feel good, to be, I don't know, as happy as possible on this beautiful day. And these warm up poses will bring you into this state. You will close your eyes. You will take a deep breath in. You will maybe say an affirmation like, everything is coming easily to me today, or this is going to be an amazing day. Um, is massaging the face considered as warm up? Junida, yes, a massage technique is also wonderful as a warm up. Um, so that's what the, the, the most important part of the warm up is, of course, getting the skin and the muscles and the organs and the tendons and the tissues and the fascia and everything ready and warmed up. That's what it says. But the more important part is to settle into this moment, to be present and to relax your mind, to get this feeling of, hey, I'm doing something for myself. This is just for me. This day is awesome. I love myself. I love everybody around me. All this mindset is included in um, doing a warm up pose. So when we are breathing, there's so much more. When we are breathing and we should always breathe through the um, face yoga exercises like Fumiko is doing at the end, at the beginning. Why? Just because we are deepening our breaths. When we are deepening our breaths, we are getting more oxygen. More oxygen will be brought to our skin, which makes our skin glow and makes the entire metabolism better, activates um, the cells turnover and so on. Oxygen is so important. So please breathe. Another thing is we are moving the diaphragm. And this is, I can do an entire life about that and about breathing techniques. But the diaphragm, when it's working, and the yogis around here or who are doing yoga know that, is activating the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is important to flush our toxins. That's what we need when we want to get rid of puffiness. Period. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to share this with you to make you understand why this is so important. With the warm-up poses, we are kind of getting our minds ready. We are activating the blood circulation. Another important thing, because we want our muscles to be ready, to be, or our brain to be, hey, something's coming, right? I'm here, I am active, I am listening to you, I am listening what you are doing next. So it is important to activate the blood circulation to bring nutrients to our skin. Nutrients is where the new skin cells are built off. So that's what we always also need. And the warm up poses are kind of relaxing and gently stretching like the big O or the wow or the detox. We are getting an all over very gentle stretch for the skin and the muscles. And that is so important before we start doing the exercises when we are coming out of a meeting like this, for example, or we had a discussion with a family member, maybe with one of my daughters, and I'm like, in this, I should not do face yoga like this. I need to, um, yeah, come bring myself, my mind, my spirit, and my muscles and everything um, ready to do face yoga. Um, so the warm-up poses are in a nutshell for the entire face, for the entire neck, chest, upper back, shoulder area, for the mind, for the body, for the spirit. It is part of the holistic concept. I hope that clarifies some of your questions you had about this. I hope um, this made it a little bit clearer for you why the warm-up poses are so important. If you have questions, please type them in now. I will go on with the now, uh, the wow. I will now go on with the wow. I'm showing you some adjustments because I need to adjust this pose to my own needs. 
and um, yeah, just type in if you have questions or whatever, I'm here. Okay, so for the wow, when I'm doing the wow pose, just like um, I would say the wow out loudly integrating my face muscles, it would look like this. Wow, 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 right? I'm creating smoke lines and I'm creating deep nasolabial folds. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Uh 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 uh, we don't want that. We want neither the smoke lines nor the deeper nasolabial fold lines, right? So we need to adjust this pose if we see something like this happening or um, creating pouches here. We also don't want that. The wow pose is not done in this impressive way if you cannot do it with your facial muscles. Everybody is unique. Everybody, everybody can do this exercise, but you just need some very, very gentle adjustments like you should do with every single face yoga pose when you see that you are creating new lines, wrinkles, pouches, whatever. So what I would do first when I see that I'm creating smoker lines, I would do the wow like this, wow. Instead of wow, I would just go up to this instead of this. So adjusting the puckering of the mouth for every single exercise where you have to pucker the mouth, it's not this for me, for me it's this or this, right? Because I don't want to create more tension here. Actually, I want, want to release and relax the mouth area. For the deep nasolabial fold lines and the pouches, I need to use my hands. I would not do the wow like this. Wow, wow, wow. It's better now because I have adjusted my lips. But when I look into the mirror, check again, I can see wow. These deep nasolabial fold lines, I don't want. So I would place my hands at the sides of my face mainly um, on the upper part because my nasal, can you see that in this lightning? Yes, my, oh, it's brilliant. I, I have chosen this place so good. I'm getting the light from both sides and you can see my wrinkles, which is important. Okay, so wow. And I stop here, wow. You can see it mainly in the upper part, right? So even when I'm, yep, you can see it. When I'm deepening my nasolabial fold lines, it starts to become a deeper fold here due to aging and the normal aging process. This is what happens and this is okay because the nasolabial folds are anatomically there, but we don't want to deepen them. So I would place my hands on the sides of my face like this. Really don't do it like this. Really use the entire palm and then you can decide whether you want to stretch out this area a little bit, then you do it with your, um, um, what is it called? The upper part of your palms. Um, when you do it, want to stretch it more out here because you are creating um, more pouches, then you would do it with this part of your palm and as I have more of the deeper lines here, I can now choose to do it more this way, right? So I would go, good body posture, good head position, place my hands on the sides of my face, give it a very gentle, it's not much, I'm not doing this, I don't want to create more lines around my, my, my eyes, I don't want to create lines here, so it's a very, very gentle stretch. And then I would do the wow, 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 wow. See the difference? So this is my wow. I'm still getting, of course, the entire benefits, but I will not create lines like this. Wow, wow, ha. Ha, 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 
I don't want that. This is my adjustment to my wow. Wow, 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 wow. And you see, it's just this, and not just, but it's the entire area that is working. The rest is completely relaxed. It's not a wow, wow, wow. It's not about doing as much as you can. It's never with face yoga. It's always these these very slight adjustments where you feel good, where you, where you see that it's working out for your face. So I hope this helped a little bit. Everybody who has done the wow this morning, um, please let me know if this makes sense to you, if you were able to do it together with me and adjust the pose a little bit. If you still have difficulties, please let me know now because now I'm here and can answer your questions. So I will go through that. Very, very insightful and helpful. Perfect, Elizabeth, thank you. Great explanation, Barbara, thank Oh, hi, Barbara, one of my boot campers. Thank you so much. So please let me know um, if you have any questions about, thank you, total sense. How can I avoid getting wrinkles on my neck during the wow? Okay, on your neck, that's, ah, oh, Kathleen, thank you. That's an amazing question. So when you do the wow using your neck muscles, which always jumps in, my platysma always jumps in. So I will, I will show you, I think this is what you mean. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, right? When all this, um, this part starts to, uh, to, to move and to wrinkle. Um, please let me know um, if this is what, what you are meaning, Kathleen. But I think, I think that's, that's what you're meaning when, when the neck jumps in. You need to relax the neck and shoulders. Start with the neck and uh, the chest opener first. That's an amazing pose for you to start just to get this area warmed up and relaxed. Maybe do some shoulder stretches just to, to really, really gently stretch out this area or do a little massage here. And then place one hand, not here because you have to open the lower jaw, but you can place your hand like here. And then, wow, start to do the pose really small, really small. Maybe close your eyes, place your hand here and do it like, wow, wow, wow. Oh, there it is. And then you feel when this muscle wants to jump in, wants to help. The platysma is a muscle that's, it's a crazy muscle. Um, it comes from the bones here and it waves into the skin and the tissue for some up to the eye area. So it's really, normally it should end here, but these fibers, these muscle fibers go in nearly everywhere. And these muscles, think or this muscle think it has to help with everything we are doing with the lower face. No, it doesn't have to. So of course, with a lot of movement, but when we are also with a wow, but in a specific way. And when it's taking over too much, you can also do it this way. Wow, wow. And maybe this is enough for you. Always think of Fumiko is doing and can show the exercises perfectly. She has created them. She's doing them since, I don't know, 17 years. So um, that's not your status. That's not my status. I cannot do the wow that way. Maybe I will never be able to do it that way, but that's okay. I'm different. My body is different. My muscles react differently, right? It's the same with a big O. Some people can do it like this and others maybe just can do it like this. And that's okay. So it's your wow and you have to adjust it to yourself. So if you feel the platysma is jumping in, do less, less is more, step back one, two, three, four, five steps really and feel it. That's the most important thing. Just feel the muscles, feel how everything is working, is doing, is jumping in, is taking over and try to relax and learn how to isolate the muscles over time. I hope that answered your question. Um, how to start with face yoga. We will answer that. Absolutely. I love this. Yes, the wow helped. I missed the first part. So I guess 
if I share this to my email, I will get the whole video. Um, Janice, I don't know, but it's, it's recorded here, so you can watch it from the beginning whenever you want. Um, please, can you guide the remove chubby checks and double chin? Yes, Sanaya, it will be on my list. Today is just about the warm-up poses. Mm, yes, I do it slowly and always using hands. You need a good, good, good. Um, Kathleen, thank you for the comforting words. I hope it helped. Trenny, hi Trenny. Okay, so I cannot see more questions here and I think I'm already over the time again. I don't know. Um, but I hope... No, I cannot see my watch. Anyway, I just, I just hope that all of that what I have said makes sense a little bit um, regarding the warm-up poses, how you can adjust them, why, we, why you should do them and why they are so, so, so important each and every single day and why they are great poses on their own, not just as a warm-up thing. Okay, my lovely face yogis, I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of the Friday. I hope that you feel good now, feel a little bit lighter in your neck and shoulder area. I hope that you will do the wow and the chest opener more often today, especially in the evening before you go to bed and in between when you just need a little boost for, um, for yourself, your skin, your body, mind and spirit. I love you all. I'm looking forward to do the next live here and wishing all of you a wonderful Face Yogi Life weekend. Bye-bye and thank you.